briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1936 case of Sheldon v. Metro Goldwyn Pictures Corp., the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit heard a dispute between the plaintiffs, the possessors of a play called Dishonored Lady, and the defendants who produced a movie titled Letty Linton without the plaintiff's permission. The defendants claimed their movie was based on a true story and a novel rather than the play, which followed a wealthy woman who contemplates poisoning her lover but is ultimately cleared of the crime. The case centered on whether the similarities between the works constituted copyright infringement and if the defendant's use of the play was protected under fair use. The court initially dismissed the case, finding that the defendants had only borrowed general themes, motives, or ideas from the play, which are not protected by copyright. Interestingly, the play Dishonored Lady was inspired by an infamous 1857 Scottish trial involving Madeline Smith, who was accused of poisoning her lover with arsenic. However, the appellate court overturned the lower court's ruling and issued an injunction against the defendants, prohibiting them from using the movie. The court held that substantial similarities between the two works indeed constituted infringement, effectively negating fair use. The plaintiffs were awarded damages and reimbursement for legal fees incurred in both courts, with the district court determining the exact amounts. While the appellate court acknowledged the lower court's error involving a character's discharge for murder in the novel, it deemed this issue irrelevant to the primary legal analysis. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.